Hi, I'm Danny, and today we're going to learn how to measure a patio screen door. The first thing you're going to want to do is measure the exact size, because all of the things we can order are to the exact size. And what I mean by that is on this one, the width comes out to 35 and 15 sixteenths. So your whole number would be 35, and then the fraction after that would be 15 sixteenths. And the height would be 77 and 3 sixteenths. So your whole number again is 77 and then 3 sixteenths after that. It's important to measure it width by height, just like I did. So it would be 35 and 15 sixteenths by 77 and 3 sixteenths. The patio doors come in three different levels. We have a 600 series, a 1350 series, and a 1580 series. This is our 600 series door. It is a half of an inch thick. Um, both all, all of our doors are half inch thick, so that'll retrofit into pretty much any type of opening you have. The standard door on this one is the half inch all the way around, and it, this is retrofitted with the vinyl wheels that come standard to all of our doors. You can upgrade to steel wheels, which is what the 1350 door has. You can see the steel wheels in there. That's the upgraded. The difference between the 600 and the 1350 is this has an extra extruded aluminum around the inside to create a stiffer door. Still the half inch thickness here, but on the inside of the frame, it's just that much thicker of aluminum to help keep the stiffness of the door. These doors come in multiple colors as well. We have Adobe, almond, bronze, tan, white, gray, and then we can get clay, but those only come in the 600 and the 1580 series. The standard with the pricing comes with two different meshes. We got fiberglass, we got charcoal and gray, and both of those doors have charcoal fiberglass in it. And then if you wanted to upgrade, we can go better view, which is the thinner fibers that you can see through it better, or you can go a pet mesh, which is like a heavy duty mesh that is resistant to tears. Um, and then after that, the only thing you need to know is when you're on the outside of your house, looking inside your house, you have to signify which side the handle's on. So you need to know which one the operable and which one the stationary panel is. And what I mean by that, so if we use this door here for an example, if I'm on the outside, looking inside of your house and your, your patio screen door is closed, the operable side would be the right side and the stationary side would be the left. So this would be an OX door. The X is always the operable side and the O is always the station, stationary side. And after that, you pretty much have everything you need to measure your patio screen door.